blessing. Day four of the challenge. Why God is silent at times. The reality is God is always speaking. Initially, that is true, his word and audible. We don't hear God because of the lack of an understanding of his word. God is always speaking. We might not want to hear what he is saying at that time. Okay, for instance, let me share this typical example I would have had with relation to the word of God and having an understanding with the word of God. This is just an example. But I want to show us how controversial it can be at times. And if we're not open, open-minded and willing to obey God, we can miss it. There was a season in my life where I felt hurt. I was hurting and I felt I was treated unfair. And persons were saying things about me that wasn't true. And I felt it deep. It was deep. And I went to God. I said I went to him in tears. I was crying about it and I was hurting. Thinking he would have comforted me. But in that season of my life, one morning I woke up and I heard a double. Romans 12, 18. This is what Romans 12, 18 has to say. If possible, as far as it depends on you, <laughs> live at peace with everyone. In that time of my life, there was no comfort. If my mind, I wasn't open to, this, to receive what God was saying to me, I could have missed it. What God was literally doing is, at that time, positioning me to have a correct heart posture. In spite of what I was going through, the Word of God is saying, if possible, as far as it depends on you, meaning me, my responsibility is to live at peace with everyone in that state. So if we're not open and willing to walk in obedience, we can miss God. Because I went to God. I was hurting. I felt as though I was treated unfairly. But that was the word of God to be in that season and at that time. God was positioning me to have a correct heart posture in that season. So had I missed that, I would have missed God. Think critical. 